The first step is to remove the metal frame and the weather stripping. The two glass panes are held apart by a metal frame. Do not destroy this frame because you will need it later. The solar cells are 3 by 6 inches and the glass panels are 3 by 6 feet. 108 cells will fit on the panel with 1 quarter inch spacing and 2 to 3 inches at both edges for the bus wires. Cut the rubber between the glass and frame for each pane of glass. Most thermal doors contain a desiccant within the frame. The desiccant will need to be replaced within the frame. Replacement desiccant, usually used to trap water and paint sprayer assemblies, will fit into the frame easily. Caulk both ends of the frame with clear silicone and replace the end caps. Drill holes to allow wires to exit the frame. This is the entire 108 panel array. You have your glass panel and your three groups of 36 panels are the green squares. And then with each 36 panel set, you have your four rows of nine solar panels soldered in a series. And you align, have positive and negative poles for each of those four rows of nine. And you arrange them such that you have your positive end, which, we can, which will be the tab where wires coming from the back of the panel, and your negative end, which are tab wires coming from the front of the solar panel. And these are your main wires. You want them to exit the solar panel case. So you'll have your red wire connecting all of your positive terminals. And you'll have your negative wire connecting all of your negative terminals. You can do this by, on the end of your main wire, you can do a direct solder onto the bus wire. And for each of your negative leads, you can cut a little bit of the insulation in that negative wire and then you can make a direct solder onto the bus wire of each of your negative terminals. Space the solar cells evenly across the glass with two to three inches of space on the edges to allow for the bus wires. Do not let the solar cells touch. This will short out the entire solar panel. Attach each cell to the glass with clear silicone caulk. The glass weights can be used to prevent sliding of the cells. Small point attachments will allow for expansion and contraction of the unit. Do not completely attach the cells to the glass. This will make it difficult to replace cells if you need to and will not allow the unit to expand and contract. Place frame with caulk and allow it to sit for 12 hours. Bus wire is a wider version of tab wire and the ends of the 9 panel series should be soldered to the bus wire. When connecting two series of panels, all four tab wires need to be soldered to one bus wire. The stripped ends of the main wires should be pre-soldered for good attachment. Generously apply solder to the ends of the main wires. Solder the main wires to the appropriate bus wires. Clamp 
wires to frame and epoxy in place. Take care not to allow the wires to be higher than the frame. Secure bus tab wire connections with caulk. The wiring on this panel is different than the diagram because we wanted to change things later on. That's why there are six wires instead of just two exiting the panel. Notice that the positive wires are coming from the back of the panel, not the front of the panel. Those would be the negative tab wires. From the positive lead, it runs through the series of connected panels down to the negative lead, which comes from the, the front side of the panel to a large bus wire, which is basically just a flat metal wire, which the tab wires are soldered to. This, in turn, is connected to the next series of panels, which then follow to another tab wire through the bus wire to your other row, and on and on again to your fourth connected series of panels to your negative tab wire where your negative wire is wired. Secure top pane of glass with bead of caulk. Check for gaps in caulk. Air pockets could allow moisture into the panel. Build frame for panel. This one is made of aluminum clad wood.